Hello guys, welcome back for another Data Factory video. This is a quick tips video about how to read and flatten an STJSON file with multiple arrays. More than likely, at some point you will have to face this situation where you would need to pass an STJSON file in your pipeline. Unfortunately, we cannot use the copy activity as it does not provide sufficient features to do that, but we can use data flows. And it's actually quite easy to pass an STJSON file using data flows. That being said, Let's jump into action and see our JSON file. So in our storage account, we have two containers, an input container and an output container. In the input container, we have this JSON file where we have the data. Here we have a relationship between a person with his children and his grandchildren. So we have this person named John with this status and this address and this age that has two childs one named Jessica and one named Jack and those kids, his kids actually have uh, kids as well so he is a grandfather. Now as you can see there is a nested, this is a nested JSON file with this relationship of this grandfather who has two kids and three, actually five grandkids, right? Three for this child and two grandkids from this child. This is our data. Now let's go to our data factory here let's launch the studio let's create a new pipeline a new pipeline that will contain a data flow so drag and drop the data flow here onto the empty canvas and go under sendings and click on new let's add the source actually let's create a new data set that will point to our JSON file in our blob storage and here we point to our JSON file here and click on OK. So if you click on data preview let me actually turn on the debug mode. This is all annoying. We have to wait a couple of minutes now but uh, I will be back when it's done. The debug mode is on, so click on refresh here under data preview and it's going to fetch the data. The first thing you will notice is that you are getting this arrow here which says malformed records are detected in the schema inference, pass mode failed fast. So I searched for this, I googled a lot to find the issue and it, it seems that under source options under JSON settings, you have to use array of documents when you have a nested uh, JSON file with arrays, right? So if you click on that document form, click on array of documents, then click data preview again, refresh, and you will be able to see the data. Here we have the data. And this guy here has two children with uh, those information here and three grandchildren from Jessica and the second child named Jack and he has um, two grandchildren from his second child. Now you can see if you click on select here and let's say you want the information for all the grandchildren plus the name of the grandparent or of the grandfather. So you can see here, if you select child, and actually, uh, if you click on reset, and then you select child name, for example, you will see here, it, uh, it only, you will only get the name of, or the name of the uh, child, or the name of the grandchild, but only for the first element in the array, right? And we don't want to do that. We don't want that. So let's uh, click here and use the flatten activity. Unroll by child. So we have to search for child here. And the unroll root could be child again. Well, you can leave it empty. That's fine in our case. So if you click on reset, you will see that now we have uh, the child name and all the information about the child 
and uh, the grandchildren, which is an array as well. So here we will get two children, and each, each child will have an array for his uh, child as well. So you can see here, we have to unnest this array as well, because we want the information for the grandchildren, right? Now, there is a quick option here, so select grand child here and here select also grandchild because if you leave it as child and you click on refresh you won't be able to see the data that you want so what you need to do here is use for unrolled root use grandchild and then reset name to columns and you will have the name of information for every grandchild and plus we can add the name of the grandfather so that's the first name that would be grand, grandpa right so if we click refresh the data now we will see five uh, grandchildren with uh, john as grandpa usually you would like the data from the second uh, layer from the second level and the third nested level uh, as well and you know have two flows that uh, contain the, all the information you want so if you don't only want the information about grandchildren then select uh, un unnest unroll by child first click on reset here and let's uh, add another column with the name of the grandpa name and here in the data preview, if you refresh, you will see the information about the kids with uh, their father's name, John, and an array with the grandchildren here. So you can use a second Latin activity here to unroll by grandchildren this time. And here we set the input columns and you will get the children as well plus the name of the grandparents so i think we have it for grandpa name yep in the end here let's copy that come on grandpa name and under data preview so let's see the errors oh okay there are no errors so now we will see Again, all the information about the grandchildren plus the, the grandfather's name, right? We could achieve that using one flatten activities, one flatten activity. However, we would lose the information about the kids because now we can add a select here and in the, the second flatten activity, just uh, use flatten one as a source. And here you can select all the information about the kids right that you lose here just uh, in case you want you know all the information from the first level the second level and the third level so I'm not going to do that now but this is how you can get all the information you now we can use a sync uh, step and create a new data set in the output container would be a CSV file and first row as header container that would be output click on OK we don't need to provide a file name because we will do that under settings clear the folder that's for me and use output to single file output.csv so provide the file name and under optimize use single partition and let's see the data so we would get all the data about the grandchildren plus the grandfather's name and i think we are good to go so if we run the pipeline we should get all this data in our output container the pipeline runs successfully. Let's go into our storage account, into output container. Let's check the CSV output. 
and here we have uh, five kids with uh, the grandpa's name, right? And this is how you actually unroll an SDJSON file with multiple arrays in Data Factory. Every data engineer will need to do that, so I thought it would be useful to make a quick video about it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.